I started playing the piano when I was two and the violin when I was three. And actually I started to compose when I was four, so writing things down on paper. You just found that the music was coming to you? Yes. I didn't even know that it was called composing then. I just sit at the piano and play the ideas I had in my head. Well, let's hear one of them, which actually you came up with this when you were nine. And it's what you'll be playing at the Henley Festival uh, tomorrow. It's lovely to actually to watch you listening to that. How do you feel when you hear that? Well, when I was when when I was playing with the with the orchestra, then in the beginning, um, I thought that they were a little bit suspicious. You know, they looked as if you know who's this little girl. You know, but then when I turned to them and I start, I played my cadenza, then I think they changed their minds immediately. <laughs> And yet I've read that you, when you were composing, and I don't know if you still do, I mean, you've grown up a bit since nine, um, that you compose when you're skipping. Yes, so I still do that. I have um, a skipping rope, which actually I don't skip with it. I just wave it around and I tell stories in my head. And then sometimes a melody just pops into my head. And so that's how I get my tunes. Or sometimes when I'm just waking up, I get them, or when I'm just falling asleep, or actually in the middle of the night when I am asleep. But getting the tunes for me, actually, that's the easy bit. But then then having to sit down and developing it into a proper piece and, and combining it with other melodies in a coherent way and polishing it, that's a really difficult bit for me. You are being likened to Mozart. How do you feel about that? Well, um, I actually think that um, if I was, uh, again, just a, a little Mozart, then it would be a bit boring because I would just <gasps> write exactly what Mozart had written before. I think I would prefer to be a little Alma. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly are that.